What does this 47% crash in 2015 and this 2018 26% crash have to do with the current crash that you and I are living through right now, today? In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what it means and exactly how long we might be where we are in this bear market. Before I do, I want to take a quick glance at something. Check this out. The price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies plummeted Monday after major cryptocurrency lender effectively failed and halted all withdrawals. Does that sound familiar? That's not a headline from today, everybody. That's not, that's not an article from today. And this is so crucial for the entirety of this video and everything that we're going to discuss. I want to show you something. This was an article from June 13th, 2022. Bitcoin plunges as major crypto lenders halt operations. It wasn't that long ago. We were in June 2022. And the fear, exactly, precisely the same as the fear right now with very similar things. This in June was the demise, the fall of Celsius and how this played out in crypto markets. If you want to get a sense of what that looked like, you go to a Bitcoin daily chart. Well, here we are in the Bitcoin daily chart and here it is. This is all the way back here in June. This entire move was when that was happening. That article from June 13th, this huge red candle right there. We were in a similar environment then and we are in a, an exact similar environment right now. So here's the thing. The fundamentals are the same. Everything is exactly the same. The question you need to ask yourself, what's your mental status like? How are you approaching these markets right now with all of this data being thrown at you, with all of the fear headlines being thrown at you? So let's do it though. Let's, let's look at the data and dig into the data. So we just, we've already clarified this thing happens time and time again in crypto. And that was, that was one example from June. If you just go back years and years and through all the different cycles of Bitcoin, we get these types of events happening. A lot of people say technical analysis doesn't work, Dan. And I just want to say it does work. These events, these news headlines are catalysts to, you know, the moves on the charts that we're waiting for and watching. But the technical analysis and, and the charting and the visualization tools that we use are in place and ready so that we can be prepared for our own personal moves in this crypto space. So here we are. This is the move. Bitcoin breaking out as we've already tracked the upper trend line of this triangle that we've been tracking for a while. Fake breakout back down, testing the trend line, most notably that we talked about yesterday. It failed. And here we are. We're broken below this 786 line. So I want to kind of go to this area on the charts and I want to break this down. Because we started this video and we said, what, do, what is 2022 and the crash that we're in right now have to do with 2018? And what does it have to do with 2015? This is exciting for me in a way because I've been tracking this 786 line. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for years and Bitcoin has arrived and what this means for me and the data will prove right or wrong. I don't know how this is going to play out in the coming months, but what this says to me is the bottom right now is, is days away, weeks, months away. It doesn't matter. We're very, very close. That's what it says to me. And, and it's just the, the repetition and consistency of these charts is what's telling me that. If we look at Bitcoin right now on this chart, 47% capitulation below this yellow line. Let's break that down and then let's dig into some time frames. So what we're looking at is very simple. It's, it's just a very simple Fibonacci retracement. It's this 2013 bear market low to this 2013 bear market or bull market high. And it's just back down a retracement all the way to this yellow line, the 786. So we have a 618 and a 786. That's what this green rectangle is. It's a retracement area. It's Bitcoin falling below and bottoming out below the 786 line. 40% fall below that line before Bitcoin bottomed out. And then the same type of deal going into 2018 bear market low. Only this time, Bitcoin capitulating below the 786 line, 26%. Now here we are and we're tracking the data. Finally, everybody, we are tracking this data with a current weekly candle. There's still four days, two hours left in the Bitcoin weekly candle. But right now, Bitcoin crashing below the 786 line. If we look at it right now, price range wise, we have a move of around 7 to 8% below the 786 line. Now, on this chart, what I have here is 35% or so. This is because we've been tracking this exact move, anticipating this exact move. And we said, if we take the average of 2018 and 
and 2015 and those crashes, 35% below the 786 line is kind of the average, give or take a little bit. So here we are and we're anticipating a potential move, the average of the previous two cycles of 35%. There is no telling if it actually goes that low, if it goes lower, but we can hypothesize and we can say, well, look, look at this, 26% in 2018 and we had 47% in 2015. So maybe it's actually the capitulation and the move down is getting a little less each time. Maybe we don't even hit 27%, right? And so maybe we hit uh, 15% in the $14,000 area. So this is all speculation, but here we are right now. We are in this environment of planning. We are in the true bottoming out environment that we've been waiting for. And so here is what I'm doing, and here's how I am approaching these charts and these markets. Two things. I want to start with time frame. If we look back, we go back all the way to 2015. Notice that when it fell below the 786 line, Bitcoin traded below the 786 line for 301 days. It's a long, very cold bear market. You think, you think we've had it bad now? That was after Bitcoin was already just in a massive bear market. It had hit $1,000 and it had, had gone all the way down to, you know, a hundred some dollars. And then it just traded sideways for like 300 days. Okay. We go back and we go up to 2018. This time, 133 days. Bitcoin traded after breaking below the 786 line. Bitcoin traded below the 786 line. 133 days. So not only did it just fall less below the, tw the 786 line, 26%. But it also traded below the 786 line for less time. So then here we are again, and we can hypothesize once again, maybe Bitcoin does hit the average of, of the two, 35%. Maybe it's less. What about time frame? If we get our date range, we can say, okay, well, we've fallen below. And let's take, let's take the lesser of the past two cycles, 133 days. And let's just chart that and see what that looks like. That takes us into spring of 2023. We could potentially be in an environment in this bear market where we're below the 786 line for over 100 days, and it takes us through the new year, and it takes us into spring of 2023, and potentially that could be the scenario that crypto needs to kind of bottom out, reset its cycles, reset itself as all of the macroeconomic stuff that is going on also does the same, and inflation numbers start improving. And, and the economy just starts feeling a little less pressure. Maybe that's what it will take. Will it be in spring of 2023? What quarter next year will it happen? That's one case. This is all speculative. But as we sit here and we speculate timeframes and we speculate, well, how low? For me, here's the purpose of the chart. For me, we are in the bottom range. Now, there is no guarantee what's going to happen but I want to talk exactly about how I'm approaching this. So this is how I see things. We're in bottom range from my perspective. This is what, this is what the data has given me. So this is what I am working with. It's been, uh, it's been grueling to be patient for this long and wait for Bitcoin to fall below the 786 line. But now it's happened. And now we're in a whole new ball game. Things have changed dramatically. So I did a video and this was uh, a few weeks ago. I'm not going to show a clip. But we created this chart, and that chart is basically, you know, a speculation chart for when and if Bitcoin were to fall into this bottom range below the 786. So here's the chart on the daily. So the chart is basically made up of three areas. It's, the, it's one whole area of a 35% dip. Remember, the average of the previous cycles below the 786 line but it's split into different ranges because we kind of anticipated the fact of, oh man, crypto is going to be falling if this happens, right? It's going to break the 786 line. We're going to be like, what is going on? Who knows what the event will be that triggers it? And we now, we now know what's going on with FTX. It's a huge piece of what is happening right now. But we're going to be sitting here like, what is going on? And this could be that first area where you have to evaluate your personal situation. And in the title of this video or somewhere, I'm probably going to put, you know, what to do now, how to handle it. And I'm going to, I'm going to emphatically, very strongly tell you this. And only, I, I would say a very small percentage of you are going to listen or be happy with what I'm going to say. And that is this, don't listen to YouTubers. 
Don't look outside of your own mind and your own self to figure out what to do right now. Gather the data, absorb it. And I'm telling you, meditate on it. So meditate on the data that's out there and meditate on whatever I'm showing you or whatever other YouTubers are showing you, but don't listen or follow other people's path and plan that could leave you underexposed. It could leave you overexposed. We are all 100% completely different individuals with completely different streams of income and financial situations. And so what I do will be completely different of what, what you should probably be doing. So sit back right now. I think we are in a land of opportunity. We just entered it and figure it out for yourself. But I digress. We can, we can dig right back into the data because what we're doing here and what I'm doing here, this is how I see things. I have this 35% range as just this area where it's like, okay, again, don't rush it again. Be patient because it's, it's not, for me, it's not the situation of it's, it's dipping into it. You got to make a move quick. You have to make a decision quick because it's not going to last and we're going to bounce into the bull market. For me, that's, that's not what we're, we're looking at. I think years ago, I might've been like that. I, I think I had a sense of hopium, but right now we're in a bear market. Bear market things happen in bear markets, right? So I'm going to anticipate continued bear market things, especially with the state of the world right now, especially with all of the unknowns happening. So with that being said, patience is the absolute name of the game. And that's kind of a, a mix of kind of the ingredients we've already discussed. There's two things here that are very unknown. Well, here's the 786. How low is it going to go? And for how long is it going to fall below or trade below the 786? There's a chance this weekly candle, if, if some type of news event brings Bitcoin, maybe it could, be a, a, it could be the CPI data that's getting ready to release tomorrow. Something could bring Bitcoin out of this range. And, and this could be it. We could get our answer. How low below the 786 line is it going to go? It could be this 7 to 8% or so. It could be that. But for me, I need to approach this chart how I'm comfortable. And this is how I'm doing it. So I'm saying if the 786 line proves true in this bear market and Bitcoin bottoms out below, maybe it does bounce up and maybe actually sees resistance here and actually comes down again over here. And then it's, it's in here for weeks. I'm going to approach these levels in my own way. And I'm not going to tell you exactly how I'm doing this in this video. And I probably will never do a video on exactly how I'm going to be doing it. But what I can tell you is this, in terms of that Bitcoin chart that we're looking at, this is my altcoin play. I'm using that chart to accumulate altcoins. That's my play. That is, that is mainly why I look at this Bitcoin chart. Altcoins are so undervalued already. And if this continues to fall, each level, altcoins will become even more and more undervalued. The, the case for 10x moves and 10x plays right now, they're already in play. If, if, if I think if I could accumulate an altcoin and hold it, long enough. A 10x right now is, is I, I can't say guaranteed, but it's like, it's almost guaranteed. It's almost just if crypto bounces and, and enters a bull market again, like so many of us are just sitting here anticipating. I mean, why else are we here? Why are we investing our money? We're anticipating that. The 10x play is so in play. So these levels for me are the roadmap for my altcoin accumulation. And it starts now. We are here now. We're below the 786 now. So that's my data. This is data many of you have been watching me track for a very long time. You can go back to 2018, and it's really when we started talking about this 786 line. Mind you, we didn't have all of the data that we have on Bitcoin, like the all-time high that Bitcoin went to, but we speculated the move out of the bear market to $90,000 and back down to 20. We didn't quite get that. We got a move to around 70. And right now, back down to, as I do this video, around 16. That's where we're sitting. So here we are, and we're here, and I, I'm trying so hard not to, not to be overly enthusiastic or overly optimistic because it's a red day. Like, it bums everybody out. It bums me out. But I'm optimistic because we're in this bottom range, finally, after just over a year of downtrend. And it could get darker. It could get more chilly. But we're here. And now is the time to plan. 
And that is all that I can tell you is to sit back, meditate on all the data in the world right now. Think about and ponder the situation that the world is in. Look at the Bitcoin charts. Look at the crypto charts and sit back and figure it out for yourself. I encourage you. And that's outside of crypto. For every decision in your life, just don't be influenced by other people. Don't go to YouTube looking for those answers. I really encourage you because there is so much power in terms of just sitting back and really learning to make decisions for yourself. So I encourage you all to do that. And I really think, and I really truly do believe in all of you as we survive this crypto bear market together. So that's all the data. I mean, I bundled it up really quickly. Uh, There's so much more to it, but I hope it all made sense. If it did, hit the subscribe for me, everybody. I appreciate you. Smash that like on the way out. And we're going to get through this. I really, really think we will. So have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.